So are you ready for the Word of God today? Yeah. Yes. yes. Awesome. We're in the Gospel of Mark. The Gospel of Mark is the good news about Jesus. That's what Gospel means. And some call this uh, Peter's Gospel because Mark knew Peter very well. I'm going to show you how he knew him today. Uh, Mark also had a cousin named Barnabas, and Barnabas was partnered with Paul as missionaries. And so Mark got to go on mission trips with Paul and uh, Barnabas, one specifically. Um, that's how Mark learned um, the gospel um, being taught through Paul. He also learned the facts of it through Peter because he knew him very well. Mark was influenced by these two great men, but Mark also was influenced by his mother. Um, we see in the Bible that uh, his mother was named Mary. Don't you think like all people in the Bible that are women are named Mary? I feel like there's a lot of Marys in the Bible. Um, but Mary was uh, a special woman who hosted the disciples in her home. Mark also um, learned uh, from, uh, followed Jesus, if you will, kind of from the outside. He wasn't in the inner circle of the 12 disciples, but he was kind of on the outside. In fact, some believe that he might have been one of those men that prepared the upper room for the Last Supper. Uh, some believe he might have been in the Garden of Gethsemane when Jesus was arrested, as I'll explain and show you today. Later in uh, Mark's life, he decided to write down the facts about Jesus, the, the history, the life of Jesus. And he did it for a specific reason. There's four Gospels. You might wonder that. Why are there four? Why is it Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? They're all of the story of Jesus. Well, Mark writes for sort of a different purpose. Uh, a specific people group in mind that he had, um, that he wanted to write to. He writes to non-Jewish people called Gentiles. And he writes to, the, to them that are very busy, because they live in a busy city called Rome. And that's what his intent was. He writes it a little bit later after some of the other books, for example, Romans was already written and in circulation, but he wrote in the late 50s or 60s. You might say that Mark wrote his gospel for you and me. The reason why I say that is because we're Gentiles living in a busy city, aren't we? And Mark wrote his gospel to be really short and sweet and right to the point, and that's what we want, isn't it? We kind of want the bottom line. Just give it to us so we can do what we need to do. And that's Mark. Mark answers four very important questions for every person. He answers these questions. Who's Jesus? Who's Jesus? What did he do? Why did he do it? And how did he do it? And Mark explains, which is our title this morning, the suffering servant. That's who Jesus was. That's his focus, that Mark, that Jesus is the suffering servant, servant, and he gave his life as a ransom for you. Why did he do that? Why did he come? Well, he came not to serve, be, be served, but to serve. And this is how he did it. He lived a perfect life. Jesus never sinned. But then he surrendered that life to death by crucifixion so that you can be forgiven of your sin. So that when God looks at you, if you put your faith in Jesus, he won't see your sin. He'll see the blood of Jesus and he'll forgive you. There's one uh, verse in Mark that kind of sums it all up. It's in Mark 10, verse 45, which you'll see on the screen. For even the Son of Man, that's Jesus, came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for men. Mark will tell you as you read it, it's short, you can do it in one sitting. He tells you that Jesus was a man of action. He took your place so you can be forgiven and meet God in heaven. So how do you respond to this wonderful offer, this gift of grace through Jesus Christ? Do you believe that Jesus is God's son? Do you believe that he died for you? Do you believe that he has an amazing life? plan for you? Will you surrender yours to his? In fact, the words are a tough teaching for today. But will you deny yourself, pick up your cross, and follow Jesus? You can only answer that with your actions.